Hey guys, it's November 1st, 2023. We are in this Death Gate Soen portal. So today I'm going to pull some I Ching for the collective. This is going to be a short video. It is just looking at how the life force energy, which is what the I Ching tracks, is shifting. So these are the cards of change. I Ching is called the Book of Change. So let's look at what's going on with the collective. These cards are blessed and shuffled. What's going on with the collective? Sorry if the camera's moving too. <laughs> well, I'm shuffling. What's going on with the energy and the life force of the collective through the sewing gateway that we can expect? How's the energy shifting and changing? Me two cards where the energy is okay that one and where the energy is shifting oh there we go oh there's two there okay oh there's four okay, four cards so we're gonna look at the progression here so we start with hexagram 28 so three sets of lines three sets of lines so there's six lines to make one hexagram this one is called Tao Kuo, Preponderance of the Great. Okay, so this is where we're coming from. A lake above and below wind. The lake rises above the trees and need for action. The lake overflows its boundaries and covers the trees. Such an exceptional occurrence cannot be ignored or denied. The situation requires swift action. Success is assured if experienced people are called upon to help. It is not a time to stand on your own. So the lake's rising, like energy's coming in. You, you don't want to handle it on your own. So this is the change card saying, okay, this is where we've been. It's almost a little bit overwhelming. So you want to call in assistance. And that changes to hexagram 60. This one is Chia, Chia Limitation. So we've got water above and lake below. Rain over the lake, respecting limits. Okay, the lake is defined by its limitations. It is contained and finite in its dimensions. Water above the lake is limitless as rain may continue to fall long after the lake boundaries have flooded over. Kindness depends on respecting the limitations of others and not assuming they can handle whatever one pours forth. Civilization depends on respecting the limits of propriety and social mores. Proceed with care. So we had this, you know, preponderance of the great. It's kind of overflowing. We need help, but we want to respect the limits of others. So there is a little change point there. And then we move to 30, hexagram 30. Hexagram 30 is Li, the clinging, and as you can see, it's double fire. So fire above, fire below. Fire upon fire. Feeding the inner flames is this one. Fire will not burn on its own, but must cling to the fuel that feeds it. So too does the superior person seek fuel to feed the spiritual fire, lest it burn out from neglect. As the flame within grows brighter, it adds its light to the world and improves it. Clinging to what is true and right brings good fortune. So this is speaking to your spiritual practice. Um, and I'm guessing because we got so many cards, this is taking us into the solstice time. So um, of course, asking for help, but respecting boundaries and really like turning within to build the inner fire. And when you do, then you are a brighter light that can affect those around you. And that is going to be important for where this energy is eventually changing into, which is 52. And I'm guessing that one's going to take us up to the winter solstice. And I would love to check back then and see how it goes. But this one is keeping still Ken. So this is mountain, mountain, mountain above, mountain below. A mountain range, a quietness of rest. So this is very beautiful how it takes us from the clinging, the fire on fire to the mountain on mountain, like this winter time going within, nourishing that inner fire and then keeping still. Okay, mountains close together enhance each other's stillness and stability. They form a sanctuary where the demands of the world can be set aside and all movement ceases. 
When one enters into such a spirit of stillness, restlessness disappears. The heart is soothed into quietness. And the time of keeping still will be followed by a time of movement. But for now, this moment is all there is. And that can even speak to this day and this week, this portal, where there's just so much going on. You want to like find others, but you don't want to overwhelm them. You want to really like focus on your inner fire and build it and find others who are doing the same mountains, um, strengthen each other. You have lots of people and you will attract those in your stillness. So this brings me to the idea of the 40 days coming up from 11 11 to 1 1 which will be happening um some of you have already contacted me and say you want to do it so um i'm i'm thinking of specific practices that might we might want to share as a group so one idea i had was to do uh, kriya yogas together and i don't know if you're familiar with those leave me a comment send me a message let me know of course, you're welcome to do your own things along with that, but I want to choose something that's a new maybe thing to learn altogether, um, something that I've learned that I want to share that other people want to do that we can all be doing collectively because remember, like building that inner fire, growing brighter, sharing it with those around. The many mountains are holding like this, this beautiful range of power, so that's what this energy is saying like there's a lot of energy coming in but it is overwhelming for some so we want to find like-minded people and we want to not overwhelm so we want to come in like-minded groups together so that's the idea of the 40 days every year at this particularly potent time that goes through the gateways of the 11 11 the 12 12 the 1221 and the 1 1, such a powerful time. And of course, we have the Christmas holiday and Hanukkah's in there, and we just have like a mesh of really powerful time and energy. So, definitely let me know if you are wanting to do that. I'm organizing the details of that now, and we have 10 days before that launch. So, over the next 10 days, we'll do a countdown to it. Uh, look for a newsletter. And if you're not already subscribed, then go to my website, blissinthehouse.com, and get on the newsletter. Okay, thank you. And tomorrow we will be celebrating the Day of the Dead. So it's a beautiful time to pull out pictures of those who've passed, to set up a beautiful altar for them, to tune into the ancestors. If you would like to do any ancestral healing or divination, this is the three-day window that's really potent for that. So give me a text message or if you already have my text or an email stage of bliss at gmail and divination is always by donation so let me know if you would like to do any of that and i will see you in the next video and i have been posting with um my army ranger friend jake some videos we're talking about yoga uh, we just posted a shorty on, <laughs> we're looking for what you guys want us to talk about. In the meantime, we're just kind of hitting different yoga subjects. So let me know how you feel about that. I would love some feedback. We're kind of like just working into a groove together, figuring out what the best um, flow is. Um, I'm seeing it as a masculine, feminine healing for the collective because there are some, some different um, ways of looking at things that we're trying to bring together um, into some kind of common human unity. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.